I think this is one of my most highly requested videos on my page. This is the kitchen registry video for anyone out there having a bridal shower or a wedding shower. These are the items that honestly I wish were on my registry. I never had a bridal shower. We didn't do that thing. My husband and I eloped. So I guess this is my dream could have been registry. First item that you must add to your registry is a KitchenAid standing mixer. If you're gonna go standing mixer, go for the KitchenAid. They kind of started the trend. They are such a trustworthy brand. These are extremely high quality. Yes, they are expensive, but if you like baking or even just cooking in general, having one of these will be such a game changer for you, especially if you like baking breads. And these last, for so long, you could probably pass it down to your children and they can pass it down to their children or if they break it, I know there's some kind of warranty. Great item to have. You also should add a great quality knife set to your registry. They can be so expensive and you truly cannot cook if you don't have knives. So here are the knives that I think you should look for. Obviously a chef's knife, okay? These are the big ones you see all the chefs using. They're usually eight to 10 inches and they have like a nice arch like this. You will also want it to come with a serrated knife, the one with the teeth on it to slice breads. If it comes with kitchen shears, that's also a bonus because why not have kitchen shears? A paring knife will also be helpful to have. This is just for little food items. It's an investment. Getting a great knife set is really an investment and that's why I think you should have your friends and family help you get the best one. This bad boy is a John Boos butcher block. Yup, and you need one, you do. If you like cooking, I hate using a small, what's a cutting board? <laughs> I was like, what's it called? Cutting board. I recommend just getting a big one. These are essentially a second countertop and while they are very expensive, I think this one was $250, they are life-changing. Having a great quality cutting board that's large like this helps you keep your countertops clean so you're not ruining them. You are making sure to keep all of your ingredients on this workspace and these last for so long. So whether you get this big one or something smaller, put this brand Boost Blocks on your registry. I love it. You're making a registry, you might as well add a blender. There are so many nice blenders out there. I have two Ninja blenders. I love the brand Ninja. I did partner with them on Instagram. Um, to promote a blender and I can promise those are great no matter what kind you get like this auto IQ large blender or their personal smoothie bowl blender they're awesome but if you want to raise the bar a little bit and have like super duper restauranty blended things whatever you want to blend like hummus soups spreads whatnot Vitamix Vitamix is it's a good brand it's very expensive their blenders can be up to a thousand dollars so if blending is something near and dear to your heart you can put a Vitamix on there Breville also has great options as well so there are so many different blender options but Ninja Vitamix and Breville I would say are my top three favorites while we're talking about putting foods into a device to finally chop them Let's talk about the food processor, which should also be on your registry. You would use a food processor for like salsas or recipes that call for fine chopping or just uniform chopping and you don't really want to use a knife. That's where this baby comes in handy. I personally love this Breville sous chef food processor. It is humongous, like truly huge. And you can also make pie crusts in a food processor. It not only comes with a really sharp blade that I would put in here, but it has these tops. So it has a grater on top, a shredder. So different blades you put on the, the top here. So you can like shred carrots, shred apples, great 
cheese if you want and it's really cool so definitely recommend this food processor or whatever you're looking for there are mini choppers as well but if you're having people help you out with buying a nice food processor go for a big boy like this the first two sets the ninja never stick pan set is Fabulous. This is just one pan from the line. It is a non-stick oven safe pan set. So you can put it in the oven up to 500 degrees and it has this non-stick anodized surface. So this is a brand new one I just got. And you can see it's kind of like glimmery. It's really pretty and you have these handles which are really nice, they're lightweight. I love this set. And the reason I love it is because with non-stick, it makes your life a lot easier for little things like searing proteins or making eggs, but then you can also put it in the oven and you, you get so many different pans with the set. Obviously, there are different ones to choose, but it's kind of like you cannot lose in this situation. Another pan set and brand that I love is Great Jones. Now, I use this pan all the time. These are stainless steel and gorge so gorgeous i i just love this pan this is called the deep cut from great jones but i mean if you're gonna put it on your registry i recommend doing their entire set i think it's called the family size set it comes with this and it comes with this dutch oven here and a bunch of other pans now just want to quickly touch base on this pan i got this is the mauvier m-a-u-v-i-e-l I don't even know what kind of pan this is. This is like a deep saute pan, but I can use this for anything. It's like a saute pan skillet meets wok and it's huge and it's stainless steel and it's gorgeous. So if you're looking for a pan for everything, this can do a lot of things. Something else you might need is a bakeware set. Now this isn't really a bakeware set, I guess. These are kind of just baking dishes for casseroles, for things you might bake, <laughs> yeah. Um, they're just really good to have because you can serve items in here like casseroles, that's just what my mind keeps going to, baked potatoes, you can just roast in them if you get big enough ones. They're great to have and I love serving dishes in them as well. I have this set from Emile Henri and I actually got them from a friend of mine at her wedding party, which was so unnecessary. They did not have to do that, but I'm very grateful they did because now I have these beautiful baking dishes for casseroles. <laughs> if this style is not what you are into or you want to find a set that has everything you need like cake pans, loaf pans, um, the baking dishes that I'm talking about and more. Great Jones has a wonderful set. I think it's like 250 for everything. Um, and it comes with a sheet pan. So check that one out. I'll put it in the link. And also you can go on Amazon and Williams Sonoma and look up sets that come with everything. Sometimes you just want a pot you can do everything in if you need to. So here are my three favorites. Um, the Great Jones Duchess is just a showstopper. I love her. She's very heavy. She's gorgeous. She comes in so many colors. And yes, she is my friend and I call her a she. I love her. Another one I actually received as a wedding gift, which I love, is this Le Creuset um, soup pot wonderful pot i love it it's more of a round circular bowl kind of pot but i put this in the dutch oven category i think it's cast iron retains very high heat love le creuset anything they are really nice like i said i love great jones more but le creuset put it on your registry if you like le creuset now's your time the brand stove has great dutch ovens as well they are wonderful for Dutch oven bread. It's like the poster child of Dutch oven baking, um, but they're wonderful for everything. And you can get different sizes, different shapes from these brands. Great Jones just has the Duchess, which is big enough for a whole chicken. <laughs> like you can do so much. It's also a roasting pan in one. So check these out. That's what I'm trying to say.
I'm trying to tell you, I love these. Definitely add a Dutch oven of any kind to your list and pick a color that you will love forever. Obviously, this is only for the coffee drinkers, which I feel like most people are, but if you're not, cool, just fast forward. You might as well ask for a really nice espresso maker or coffee machine. I would have put an espresso on my list or the Breville espresso maker. Those are like some real barista shit, like that's the real deal. Um, this is for people who are a little more lazy every day, like me, and I just put the pot in and I get great espresso. Regardless, something you should ask for because if you don't start off with a good coffee maker, chances are you're just gonna delay buying a really nice one like I did and I finally got one. And I wish I got it sooner. This is my Nespresso and I love her. She's awesome. This might seem really minor, but in my process of organizing my kitchen and picking items for it, I noticed that these storage containers are so expensive. Like the cute ones that actually look good on your counter that are so dirty <laughs> because I put flour all over them. No, they are really expensive actually. I've spent like a couple hundred dollars picking out the right storage. So put a whole set on your registry and pick something cute that matches, something timeless. You'll always have it in your pantry or on your countertop. Just something to think about. So the old thing to do, and I think people still do it, is to give new married couples china and nice glassware. Well, I, I still think you guys should be putting that on your registry, but I think you should pick it. So what I think is the best thing to do is to ask for your friends and family to pitch in on a Williams-Sonoma, Amazon, or Bed Bath & Beyond gift card. You choose whatever you like. I would prefer Williams-Sonoma just cause like, I think they have the best selection, but up to you. I think a $500 to $750 range would be great to get yourself some nice glasses, a nice plate set, and then a nice utensil set. Like my mother-in-law just gave us these beautiful serving things that I'm scratching, um, but you can get these at Williams Sonoma. Just little items like that. You want to pick that out because you know what you like more than what other people know. So in a wine glass set though, you should look for a red glass, stemmed or stemless, it doesn't really matter. But a red glass has the thicker bulb looking thing. A little, it has more room for the wine to open up. The white glass is more narrow in this body. I'm <laughs> just making new names. Body yaddy 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 yaddy. And a champagne glass as well. You might as well hit all the birds with one stone. And a few niche items I'm gonna throw at you. These aren't for everyone, but you might like them. If you are a wine person, a wine drinker, the Coravin, it is awesome. You can open your wine using this little needle it comes with and it pokes a tiny hole. The wine comes out and your wine does not oxidize and go bad as quickly as it would if you opened it with a corkscrew. So check this out, I love it. I have two Coravin, I've worked with them before, but I would buy it no matter what. The Instant Pot or a pressure cooker or a multi cooker. If you like quick meals and you like one pot meals, easy solutions, you have a small kitchen and your stove is electric or you don't like it and you want everything to be in one place, get a pressure cooker. These things are really cool. You can do so many different things or settings for everything. Um, like you can make soups, pressure cook, which basically means using steam pressure to cook your food more quickly. Um, you can make eggs, you can saute, you can slow cook, you can sous vide in here. So this is really cool. It's different, it's not for everyone, but if you've been thinking about an Instant Pot, now's your time to get one. If you just moved to a new house or you're buying a new house with a yard, put a grill on that registry. We just got a Weber grill. It was about $500, so obviously this is something people would pitch in for, but it's so nice to have it and I know Sebastian loves grilling and if we had a registry, I would put that on there for sure. And if you're a pizza lover, this is one I would have randomly added. There's this brand called Gosney and they make these portable pizza ovens. 
The really portable one for it's like for camping when you go to the beach or just if you want to put it outside. It's so cool. I think it's about $500. So this is like super niche item for the outdoorsy types, the ones that are going to go on mountain trips and go stay in a tent or a cabin or something. But check that out because I'm in love with it. I'm going to add it to my list. If you are super healthy and want a juicer, add one to that list. I like the Breville one. <laughs> I couldn't afford it when I was buying a juicer. So I also have the iCook juicer, A-I-C-O-O-K. I did a video about it. It has worked wonders, but I mean, if you want the nice stuff, go for Breville. And I think that's it. I think I've just, you know, either bored you to death or helped you in some way. So I appreciate you watching and I let me know if you add any of these things to your registry or if you have any other suggestions, look in the comments for everyone else's input. It's always fun over here on the tube. We love the tube. Thanks for watching guys. And if you wanna see more food content, more suggestions and my favorite items, you can follow me on Instagram at Dining with Skylar. And of course, subscribe to my channel. I will love you forever. Oh,